Good morning, sugar. Waking up in your arms feels like a dream come true. I could definitely get used to this. Feels like heaven. Pure heaven. You know you were amazing last night, right? So incredibly hot. It's never been like that before. Hell, I didn't even know it could be like that. I know it wasn't a dream, though. My fantasies haven't come close to what we did together last night. You blew my mind, seriously. And we worked up a mighty big appetite. Well, I think we should head to the kitchen and rustle up some biscuits and gravy. What do you say? You're pulling my leg. What do you mean you've never eaten biscuits and gravy? Oh, darling, gravy belongs on a lot of things, not just mashed potatoes. You get that perfect fanny of yours out of this bed. I'm going to teach you what a southern breakfast is all about. Come on, lazy butt. We need to eat. There you go. Now, sit here and look sexy while I show you how this is done. First, we make hash browns. There's two of us, so I'll use about three medium potatoes. Greater? What do I need with a grater? Sugar, you don't use a grater on potatoes. Whoever taught you that was just plain wrong. Hash browns are cube-shaped. Golden brown cubes of potato goodness. Anything else is a total disregard to your taste buds. Now, I like mine peeled, but some folks are purists. Which do you prefer? Perfect. So we'll peel them and chop them. To about this size. Now while these are in the skillet sautéing with a bit of butter, we'll start on the drop biscuits. What do you mean, can? Biscuits don't come from a can. Baby, I love you, but there ain't no excuse for taste that bad. <laughs> No, you make them fresh. It's easy. I'll show you how. Now this is a family recipe, and we never share it. My Nana would come after me with a rolling pin if she thought I shared this outside the family. Once you taste one, you'll know why. Oh, they're called that because you don't roll them out or cut them. You scoop them up with a spoon and you drop them onto a cookie sheet. <sighs> yeah, you're right. I forgot to preheat the oven. You distracted me. Sitting there looking like I should throw breakfast out the window and just eat you instead. 
darling. It's a possibility. A real possibility. <sighs> if you insist. Can you set the oven for 450? Yeah, sugar. 450. I'm sure. 450 degrees. Thank you. Now, we'll drop these on the cookie sheet and then we can get started on the sausage. Well, baby, you can't make sausage gravy without sausage. It's definitely a key ingredient. If we were back home, this wouldn't be store-bought, but it is what it is. This brand is the closest I've found to the good stuff. I see I'll be doing most of the cooking. That's okay. I enjoy it. Especially if you sit here with me. I could look at you all day long. Now that we have the sausage in the skillet, we'll start on the gravy. Don't say it, sugar. Oh, I have a pretty good idea. You think biscuits come from a can and potatoes should be shredded, so my guess is you also think gravy comes in a jar. I told you not to say it. You are killing me. No, gravy isn't a gelatin glob that falls out of a jar with a plop. It's creamy and tastes like a little slice of home. That crap tastes like it was spawned in a lab somewhere. Definitely not fit for our down-home breakfast. You start with a roux. A little bit of this and about a quarter a cup of flour. Once this browns, We'll add the liquids. Can you crumble up a bit of the sausage? Yep, just like that. Of course it's worth it. Babe, your body is a machine and food is the fuel to keep it running. And you wouldn't want to put garbage into your car's gas tank now, would you? Well, eating junk food all the time is just like that. You need real food. Stuff fresh from the ground. Not microwaved, reheated crap made in a lab. Processed and sealed in a can. I am serious, baby. Yes, I did use butter to fry the hash browns. Yes, I did fry sausage in a skillet and crumble it into the gravy. What's your point? Don't you add oil to your car's engine? Well, it's the same thing. Sure it is. I see your point, darling, and you're right. Food this heavy isn't for every day unless you're working 14 hours a day on a ranch, but for special occasions like this, it isn't going to hurt anything. And it's still better for you than junk food. If I can't even pronounce half the ingredients, I don't want it in my body. How do you like your eggs? Yes, darling, eggs. In my lifetime alone, eggs have gone from the good list to the bad list and back on to the good list about five times. I think they're currently good in moderation, so I'm going to consider them okay. I like mine dippy. 
Dippy is southern speak for over easy, or at most over medium. My daddy liked sunny side up, but I like mine flipped over for a little bit to cook the top side too. You can have scrambled if you'd rather, darling. It's all good. Okay, scrambled it is. I used to think this meal was better than sex, but as of last night, I know that ain't true. It is high praise, darling, and I mean every word. You were amazing. Okay, eggs are all done. Now it's time to bring this all together. I'm just going to drizzle a little of the gravy over your biscuits to get you started. You can add as much more as you like. Personally, I kind of drown mine, but you just take as much as you want. There we go. A couple of sausage patties and we're all set. Your mouth is going to thank you for this, I promise. Well, what do you think? I'm doing all the cooking from now on. Well, I'm glad you love it, darling. I hoped you would. But maybe we should do all the cooking from now on. Together. Yeah, that does sound good, doesn't it? <laughs>